Alright, so here we have Titan Quest. And uh, I just created this square jawed fella. Can I zoom in on him? Uh, I can turn him around. That's right, spin! Spin, my puppet! Uh, I like his sandals, and he is. Ooh, you're kinda twitchy, Michael. Uh, I couldn't spell out all of Michael Paleologos, so I just had to go with M Paleologos. Uh, but bear that in mind, his full name is Michael, and he is kind of twitchy. And he's got... Oh, hey! He's got lots of polygons, and he... Maybe he's got tinnitus? Maybe that's why he just periodically stops and like flips out and turns around and around and around. Um, and uh, so he is going to be my uh, my little avatar through this. And uh, let's see let's see what there is for us to do in this world. One day. The sun will dim oh, yeah, cool. and spread a shadow over the earth. I think they're actually Temples reading it in Greek behind this. Stood forever will be destroyed. Oh no. The heavens will vanish, and the gods will fall upon the earth. One day the I wish my ancient Greek was good enough to over the strong. Or my modern the Greek was good enough. It's been a while since I said in Greek. Take up the sword. Taking up the sword. Am I taking up the sword? Am I a poet who's taking up the sword? Times. Ooh, look at the bear. Of heroes are I'm born. guessing it wasn't a bear. Hey, that that person looks strong. That that looks like me. I'm a guy like me. I can be strong too. Road to Helos. All right, so here I am uh, with my. So, what we're going to do today, we're just going to focus on some of the game mechanics today, I think. And then we'll address some of the uh, other interesting stuff. Can I, ooh, ooh, I can pause the game. Cool. Uh, I cannot get in the water, but it seems that like I sailed a road. Actually, it's a good question. Maybe it just drifted, because it doesn't look like this boat has any oars or for that matter, any sails or anything. Uh, hello, Michael. I, whoa, flourish your knife there. Uh, let's see if I press I. I've got my character window. Cool, what have I got? I have, I'm wearing a tunic, a pretty simple belt, pretty simple sandals, and I've got a copper knife that does four to eight damage. Isn't that nice? Um, I've got some attributes. So, in terms of game mechanics, uh, this is this these attributes over here are going to be the things that I'm going to be adding to as I get as I level up, um, and that will help me to you know hit stuff harder. That will help me to do more damage and regen stuff, and. Will let me do more offensive abilities. Wait, 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 come back, come back. What's that button? No, it doesn't matter. Um, I can swap between weapon slots with W. And that's nice. Secondary characteristics, I've got different resistances. I can be resistant to traps, that's cool. Uh, I can be resistant to eyes. Oh, to sleep, that's also good. Petrification. Ooh, there are going to be some Medusas and some Gorgons later on. That will be fun. Uh, right now I am regenerating 2.5 health. I don't know if that's per second or what. Uh, ooh, it'll tell me what the greatest monster I've killed has been. That's cool. But right now I can't really do anything with any of this because I don't have any points to spend. Um, I can go around. I can look at what's going on here. Looks like you've got, like, you're doing pretty well for yourselves. You've got some rope, you've got some squash, some asparagus, that looks like asparagus right there. Some pomegranates, that can't be right. Cabbages, 
everyone's got cabbages. You can't be a poor peasant without cabbages. Um, hi, I'll talk to you in a second. What have you got over here? You've got a nice cart piled high with more supplies. Looks like you guys are doing pretty well in the supply area. Um, Corythus. You're there, soldier. If you've come looking for rest and peace, you won't find it here in Helos. Our village has recently been beset by satyrs, satyrs. and other vile beasts. Vile beasts. The help of your fighting arm would be greatly appreciated. I have an arm I can fight. Our farmers cannot get to their fields, and our supplies are running low. Please go down the road toward the village and help where you can. Not sure, like how low are your supplies running? You've got a bunch of chickens. You got a, you got a, a farm stand here. Are you selling to like people who are coming down the river, or what? Do they come down the river, and you've got like asparagus, uh, five drachmas to a dozen, or something? Um, looks like you're doing doing pretty well. Let me see if I yeah if I press shift, I can stand in place and attack stuff, or do like cool dance moves. Ooh, dance, dance, dance. It's not a very good song. Hi. Oh wait. Let me. I know that that whatever you're talking about is very important, no doubt. We have men defending every gate. We've got men at every gate. Farmers and shepherds. Satyrs. Satyrs. Harpies. It's as if all the things painted on a vase were sent against us by some angry god. Go down the road. Hilo. Go down the road. Sure. Hilos. I'll go down the road. Hi, what's your deal? I was sent by the river, mostly. They're going to kill my horse. My poor horse. All right, all right. Hold, hold your, hold your horses, there, buddy. Why are you guys killing the horse? Don't kill the horse. Back off. Leave that poor horse alone. Let's see if I press Alt. It should bring up any items that I can play. Uh, quest log. Q. I have to speak to Timaeus. I saved Timaeus' horse. I have to speak to... There we go. Another harness. The pine club. Uh, let me go speak to Timaeus you again. saved my horse. Thank you. But I'm not the only one in trouble. Down the road there, that's my village. Helos. Sure. We've got monsters at the gates, in the fields. They're monsters, everywhere. Monsters, gates, fields. That's fine. Normally. Would welcome a weary traveler with offers of food and shelter. But not today. So the first thing goes wrong, and you suspend your laws of hospitality. What gives? Satyrs! I never thought I'd see such a thing. That horse is the one thing I own. Thank you for saving her. Hey, no problem, man. Just go down the road. Okay. You'll see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there anything over here? Do do do. I can. Ooh, I have a magic power. I can make rocks disappear. Uh, let me check out my inventory for a minute. Ah, cool. So I picked up a leather harness that provides me with a little bit of armor. Um, like my combined armor over here. I can take that off. Yeah. Ah, and it gives me the breakdown. Torso jewelry bonus. Cool. And the pine club. Ooh, look at that. The pine club does... Um... 6 to 17 damage. Ooh. And look. The average damage is 10. And the DPS, the damage per second, is 10. But if I change over to the Pine Club, my average damage goes up to 14, my DPS goes up to 11. Uh, that's neat. I'll see to that then. Oh, hey. Hey. There we go. Got a nice little, nice little farmhouse. Uh, you guys have stopped. Your farm stand is down by the river. Very sensible. Very sensible. Hi. Can I talk to you guys? No. Hello, I am Ace. Ace on. Captain for this small village. Why do you have we a holding up, but weird like Russian the accent? If the monsters lay waste to our farms, we're lost all the same. No, it's, it's not Russian. I'm just shaman. bad at hearing. Maybe he's standing his head out over. Sure. Rebirth Fountains. They are basically my save points. Uh, or regen points. That's good. So if I die, I'll respawn there. 
saving and loading the men brings me there. Hold guard on shifts. Our weapons are rusty and few, but you fight well when you defend your sure. home and family. Do you want me to get more weapons for you? Enter, traveler, and welcome to Helos. There's a bit Enter, of hospitality. Hey, what's, these fountains are blessed by what's the your deal? They say when you touch Is it the, the glowing water, golden light that it. gave it away? Should the blessing? The dark fate in battle, your My soul drinks are really cool. Fountain, and you may live to fight again. Ooh, and look at that. Uh, right in the center. You can't do it when I'm hovering over the rebirth fountain. But right in the center, you can see the Caduceus. We'll talk about that again later. Drink from a different fountain, and the soul shall bind to the new location. Cool. So, fountains. Drink from a different fountain. It's whatever fountain you have most recently bind. drunk from. Uh, I like your. Whoa! I like your. You've got some nice vine arbors, some nice grape arbors there. Uh, you've got some nice sort of domestic architecture. Uh, thatch roofs. Big fan, big fan. Thatch is very effective. Can I jump in the river? Oh, I can go down to the river. That's cool. I think I would have noticed this place when I was... Oh, interesting. I must have come down from the right-hand side of the screen, gone under that bridge, and then gone around to the other side. Hey, what's your story? Hello. Oh, you. Oh, you. Hero I like your known, beard. Son of Zeus. You've got a, a good god, beard. And of a mortal woman. Heracles. Man yes. Heracles. Hated by the goddess Hera and beloved of Zeus. Yep. Mighty handed Heracles battled monsters. He did a lot of cool stuff. The labors of Hercules or Heracles. And the Hydra. Very interesting. The Eremanthian boar and thunderous. Do you giants. have. Like of legend did he an effect on the gameplay. Rose above the realm of I would definitely like to talk about Heracles more at some point, but he took the place of Atlas. He uh, holds the world aloft. Heracles. So right now you're just yes. standing around with a good beard and providing exposition. That's cool. That's cool. And now, now, where is a hero half as great as he? You're looking at him. I'm not yet half as great, but. The gods gave him immortality and gathered him up to Olympus. Um, I think there's a lot more to that story, but again, we'll what come back to that later. Is, you ask. The god Let's run around here. Hello. This fellow over here, Diomedes. I'll talk to him in just a minute. Uh, portals. There we go. Uh, so a portal, I can... Oh. Interesting. Oh, cool. So... It's a... Oh, that's fantastic! Oh, that's so great! Uh... This is like a town portal. I can zip back and forth on the map without having to slog all the way back and forth every time I have to like drop stuff off in town. That's great. Hi, tell These me about the portal. Shrines are ancient, as old as humankind, some say. That's they pretty say good. Prometheus. Oh wait, no, what did you say? A very few still Something can. about Prometheus. Those destined for greatness touched by the gods. I can travel with them. Even fewer can travel to them with a simple stone. Cool. As well. Oh, so the old tales play. Yeah, so it's my town portal spell, which allows me to teleport back and forth between the map and the town. Still can. I think you said something about Prometheus, and that was the reason why you could do the stuff. Uh, let's see. Ooh, look at this lovely olive press here. This is how they, this is how they make uh, the oil. And some lovely weavings. Very nice. I don't know... Look, you look like a nice person, but I don't know if talking to your weavings is going to make them weave faster. Oh, can I pet the dog? Pet the dog. Oh, fine. Monsters, Monsters. all over the village. They're burning and killing everything in their path. Let me guess. Satyrs and something else. The chaos and destruction. Harvey, satyrs and harpies. It is all too much for me to handle. It is very overwhelming. But don't worry, when the world is overwhelming, 
Please talk to Diane. I can hit it with a club. As long as the particulars of the world being overwhelming are stuff that are hittable with Hello, clubs. Stranger. I'm Diomedes, the leader of this small village. Do you mean to say that you fought your way here? But not very far. True, then like I, I mostly I came on the river. We need your help. Monsters led by a powerful satyr shaman okay. appeared a few days ago and have driven us from our farms. We okay. can hardly defend the village gates not and have no one who can stop them from uh, destroying stop our crops. Our farmland lies on the other side of the river, yes. just over this bridge. The shaman was last seen beyond the farms at the edge of the Helos woods. Sure. Please, rid us of this terrible sorcerer. So, pay you what we can. this fella, Diomedes, has given me a quest of going to kill this uh, satyr shaman. Um, who is leading the forces that are terrorizing his village. Uh, and that sounds like something I can definitely do. Do you have anything Please. else? Our farms and our families are not safe. They'll destroy our crops. Our farmers are terrified. They are peaceful folk and are no warriors like us. We barely have men enough to keep the beasts from our gates. You have a lot to say, Diamond. Just over the bridge. The farms are right there. Okay, I get it, I get it. Take care of it. If you're going out there, don't go unprepared. It is not safe. So this Buy fella you need here. is the merchant. Um, the merchant window, I've got, he's got stuff from the blacksmith, stuff. Uh, so melee weapons, ranged weapons, armor and shields, jewelry, potions, miscellany, and the repurchase stuff. The repurchase stuff is I can sell... Um, if in case I didn't want to sell that for uh, I would be able to pull it back and not have to like rebuy it every time which would be kind of annoying uh, my bow however I'm going to add a bow right up there so that I can shoot stuff that'll be handy uh, I can buy and sell stuff, and yeah, yeah, we're we're good then. Uh, I don't really want to we buy anything else right now. Again, um, but you can see that this guy is a trader, Carcinos, Carcinos. This guy is a caravan driver, Erotodes. Uh, what do you got? For you. I can store my extra possessions with Caracodes, the caravan driver. I can store stuff as an extension of my inventory. Uh, I can transfer stuff so the transfer area stays the same between characters in case I wanted to build other characters. And a relic wall. Oh, that's cool. I can. That's good to know. So, relics are like special items, special enchanting items that you can add to different parts of your gear. Uh, we'll address them when we see them a little bit later. And those are the only guys in town right now. I don't... Um, and you see I can switch quickly between my weapons. And then I can attack people. Like this. There we go. Cool. Oh, you're a little bit out of range. And then, so I shot that guy a few times in order to wear him down a little. And then, I, as soon as he got in range, I switched back to my melee weapon with the W key. Um, uh, my map. Cool, that brings up the local map. Oh, we'll be able to see the river course. That's nice. Study that map a little bit more in depth later. Um, I wonder what the deal is with all these bags. Like, why do you have sandbags? Or are those bags of grain? Because if those are bags of grain, then the satyrs are super missing an opportunity to get some good uh, provisions. And... There we go. So I got off a couple of shots. And... 
instant I switch back. And I didn't have time to switch to my ranged weapon for that. Oh, more for that. Hi. You guys are hiding in amidst the, the wheat. This will be a good one, two, three. And those guys do a fair bit of damage to me. Um, but as you can see, 130, 132, 135, 136. It's my health is regenerating fairly quickly, so I don't need to worry about too much. Um, oh, here's a satyr. Let's not let you get away. Get off a couple of shots on that satyr. Get off a couple of shots on that satyr. On that satyr. Switch back. A couple of shots on that satyr. And... Copper hand axe and a pine club. Uh, they won't get me a lot of money back at the village, but um, even picking up low quality gear like that can be valuable. Um, and let's see what's down here. Oops. I should have been paying a bit better attention, and then I would have been able to get in my ranged attacks. Ooh, a bronze hand axe. Uh, I'm pressing alt. It doesn't look like there are any more... Oh, hi. Hand axe. Torch. Now, what's yours to... At Dory Pendion. village sets to work in the fields. The crops must be gathered and properly stored. We make an offer are you, to Demeter. God are you okay? Bounty. That's very educational, but... You're... Farm is surrounded by satyrs. Uh, there was clearly just a fight in front of you. I don't think most people normally. Uh, I don't think it, it's traditional to react like this. It was three nights ago. Ah, uh, there we go. The shepherd boy ran up crying about the satyr. That's a little bit more like it. But he was right, and now I never wish to see a satyr again. Well. I'm here to help with that. All the nights, Timantes played hard. Timantes, what a great name. We would dance and drink. Now we hide in our homes and pray that we see another sunrise. Wait, wasn't it three nights ago? Didn't you just say it was three days ago that what the first satyr came? to burn our fields and slay our cattle. How do we stop them? I mean, yes, this is definitely a problem. Here in Helos, we live quietly. We have avoided most of the wars. We are farmers, unlike our Spartan brothers. Man, everyone's down on the Spartans. Even the animals of the wild have turned against us. Carrion birds oh. and savage boars now hunt those who used to See, hunt them. See, there's interesting exposition. Even the animals of the wild okay. have turned against us. Good to know. Uh... There we go. Oh, I also need to double check. Let's see. Hand axe, copper, bronze hand axe. There we go. That's the best thing I've got going for me right now. Is that bronze hand axe. Uh, I feel like I should be able to. I feel like I should set that, put that fire out. It doesn't seem like a real solid kind of uh, game plan. Tried to set me on fire. How dare you try to set me on fire? I'll show you. Someone getting set on fire. Ah, there we go. Leveled up. I've gone up a level. I can open my skill window and I can open the character window to add attribute points. So, first, let's take a look at the character window. Uh, health adds to my health points, energy adds to my energy points, which I will use for special abilities and spells and things. Strength uh, makes my physical damage better, intelligence uh, makes my elemental damage better, and my magic better, and stuff, uh, and my regen better. And my dexterity increases how good I am at offense and defense and other special qualities. 
of attack. So I think that I will go for um, go for a bit of strength and a bit of dexterity. How about that? Good. Uh, next. Oh gosh, what did I, what have I done? What the heck? What did I do? That was odd. All right. So I need to. Uh, a big part of this game is, lies in selecting a mastery and adding points to that. So, and a lot of that has to do with sort of choosing how you want to play. Um, so, for instance, let's look at the defense skill window. Uh, for each level you go up, you get some skill points. And in order to use the abilities in each mastery, you have to increase your mastery and you have to choose those abilities. Um, and as you can see here, uh, if I get one mastery point in this, it unlocks these abilities, and then I can put two points into any one of into whatever of these I like. Once I get four mastery points, I don't have enough to get there. It would unlock the next rank and so on and so forth, up until I've put 32 mastery points into this. So essentially I have to spend skill points in order to access the skills. Um, defense mastery is... it's a pretty... Uh, it's a survival mastery. Um, it's using your shield a lot, and it makes you really tough to kill. Uh, so it starts off with abilities that are as simple as like a concussive blow that allows you to stun your enemies, uh, or a, uh, a battle awareness um, that adds to your defensive ability, and batter that allows you to hit someone with a shield, or armor handling that makes you use armor better. Um, the round ones, those are passive abilities, which means that they are always turned on. No matter what I do, if I choose this ability, I will always have a 10% chance, or uh, I'll always have a chance to increase the duration of a stun um, when, I, when I hit other people. The square ones are ones that I can assign to the quick slots, the hotkeys down here, and those will cost me to energy to use, um, and then we'll have a cooldown period. And the way that I like to do it when I'm playing a game like this, I like to uh, look through all of the different masteries or skill trees or whatever, and if I can, look at what I get at the start, and then look at what I get at the top. Wow, that's cool. So, like, one of the highest abilities in the Defensive Mastery is the Colossus form. That allows me to assume the form of a towering Colossus and lay waste to my enemies, which sounds amazing. Uh, that's really cool. And another, one, another high-powered one that uses my shield to knock out enemies. Another high-powered one that uh, allows me to return damage to them. Iron Will, Disruption... For the most part, I don't even read the descriptions, I just sort of look at the titles, and half of the time, just because you get used to things like this, you can tell where it's going... what it means from the title. Um, another nice simple one would be the Warfare Mastery, that one of the highest ones is the Ancestral Horn that brings back heroes uh, from the Elysian Fields. That's cool. So I would be able to summon a whole bunch of Ancestral Warriors to help me in my fighting. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, then there are more 
magical sorts of ones, like the Earth Mastery. That allows me to uh, send jets of flame at people, or give rock and flame powers to my weapons, all the way up to creating an eruption around me, like a volcanic eruption that destroys my enemies. That's pretty good. I can summon a core dweller. Um, I become more powerful at attacking. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Storm is pretty much the same, except it's... You've got a powerful wisp. You've got a storm surge. It's a similar sort of magical thing to Earth, just in a different element. Um, dream and spirit. In dream, I can put people to sleep. I can distort reality around me. I can make waves of energy around me that will make people sad and bad at fighting. Spirit. I can drain life from people. That's cool. I could become a necromancer and... Uh, cool. I could summon a Lich King. That would be pretty cool. Um, but this is where choosing how you want to play comes in, because I don't really want to do stuff that involves summoning allies. Um, this particular time, I feel like I want to do like a dexterity and a trickery playthrough. It's been a long time since I played this, so uh, this may end up being a terrible, terrible choice. Um, the runes... Are this... Have I not unlocked them, or are they locked behind a different um, DLC that I don't have? Nature, you can call on stuff. It's also healing. But I think I'm going to focus on hunting and rogue. Oops. Because the rogue... I can wear people down, hit and run tactics, um, I can use traps and trickery, uh, hunters also do traps and trickery, and speed and range. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some ensnare and some wood lore to make myself better at stuff good enough. And then I can assign these skills to um, no, I don't have any skills to, to assign yet, really. I mean, I'll assign and snare to that just sort of because. And that's my axe. Uh, now you can see I've got my bow out, and I'm going to want ensnare equipped for my bow, because that'll be important. Oops. There we go. Uh, because... There, I've got some potions. My potions, you can see, are hotkeyed to 9 and 0. So I need to train my fingers whenever I see my health getting low, to zip over to the 9. Um, energy's not really a problem for me right now, but... So there, I don't know if you could see that, I just was able to throw an ensnarement at that boar, and then get off a couple of shots at it. Same with that beast man. So I didn't even have to... There we go. I... There we go. Easy. Easy. And this is just a matter of practice. Oh, hi. What are you guys doing? There's a lot of you. Hi. Uh, and this is where the the first boss is, and I'm going to pick off some of these guys here. Ooh, what's this shrine? Shrine of healing. Uh, so I'm going to heal up faster than usual. There we 
go. I should have my finger hovering over the nine. Um, because, whoa. There we go. So that kills off all the minions. Now we need to get this guy down. So again, I've got my hand, my index finger of my left hand over the nine. And I just need to outlast this guy. He's not doing enough damage to me to be a threat. There we go. Let's look wraps. Primitive chest, cool, a staff, a bangle, a suit. Wow. You have no more room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No more room. My Aunt Fanny. Um, what am I looking for? Uh, it's a protective garland of recovery. Let's see. Uh, so a garland takes up, like, I think it takes up that much? I forget. But... I think that I can rearrange this slightly. Yeah. I don't need... What kind of bow have I got? Pine crude bow. An ash crude bow. Is full. I know is better than a pine crude bow. Yeah. And torches and the pine crude bow, they're not worth enough for me to bother trying to pick them up, really. Oh, but I can. Can I? Why can't I use that? I need to be level 3 in order to use that buckler. Ooh, let's test. Let's test this. Is this my town portal? I can zip back to Helos. Cool. Cool. Alright. Now let's talk to some people. You defeated the I did defeat shaman. a powerful shaman. Astounding! Your victory today is great, but I fear there will be more, more monsters, monsters tomorrow. tomorrow. I'll take care of it At then too. Don't worry, worry about it, buddy. Don't worry all. about it. Take this gold. Some gold is nice. I know Thanks. It's not much. Please seek out the Spartan general Leonidas. Leonidas. Petition uh -huh. him on my behalf. We've got Ask a historical to point now. To protect us and quickly before we are again overwhelmed. No problem, buddy. A thousand gold and 150 experience. Woohoo! Please bring word to General I will. Leonidas. I will. Thank you again, Stray. Sure, no problem. We are indebted to you, but we won't be safe. Go now. Till the middle. Go now. Yeah. Okay. Good. Does anyone else want to talk to me? Nope. You do not have a little yellow thing. You get a little yellow thing. Hello. You have saved our farms and our livelihoods. You're welcome. For this, we thank you. No problem, Bob. You have our thanks, stranger. You're very kind. Um, now let me sell off the stuff that I don't need. Don't forget armor for your arms and legs. They're important too. Arms and legs. Yeah. Duly, duly noted. Um, I don't need... Uh, so if I right-click on that, it sells it. Right-click, sells it. My bronze hand axe is better. I don't need any of these torches. Oh, the garland. I need to be level 3 for that. 70 for that. Uh, intelligence 70 for that. Level 3 for the sash. And 58. Um, or 12 armor. Ooh, extra dexterity and regen. That's cool. 572. And a, a good... A good guide is sometimes how valuable things are. So this has a value of 572, this has a value of 116. Both I could wear either of them once I get to next level. Uh, and in this case I can trust the value because I'm not always looking at value, I'm sometimes looking at the things I need. So I'm playing a character that needs a lot of dexterity and needs to be able to move pretty fast 
Um, and hopefully I'll be doing a lot of not getting hit. So I'll want the agility so I can sell the suit. Uh, Pine Withered Staff. I'm not... I'm going to be focusing on uh, bows and spears. So I'm not going to need that. I don't need that. That I probably will need. Some potions are good to have. And then all of that stuff, we'll, we'll get to that a little bit later. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Hey. Hey, you. A good day to you. You. Hold on to those silk wraps for me. I'll probably find something better. Actually, hold on to all this stuff for me, because I can't use any of it yet. Um, so that's where, that's where we're going to end for right now. Um... And we'll return to this uh, some other time. Save game. Exit to main menu.